How you doing, folks? I am Aaron Boyce, exec Executive Director of the Farm Square Community Development Corporation, FSCDC, and I got exciting news for you. We have the second, not the first, mind you, but the second annual Small Business Success Summit coming to Florence Square, 2251 Florida Road, Samuel Black Wall Street, I might add. It's on July 30th, that's a Saturday, J July 30th, uh, from 9 to 5 p.m. Well, we really, 9 to 4 p.m. We got this thing called Women in Business. Women in Business, yes. And she's a woman, and she's in business, and she's gonna share with you how to be successful and, and, and how she found her success. Her name is Angie Wiggins, and you should know, we've known e e each other since Popeye started growing his spinach. <laughs> <laughs> maybe not that long, maybe not that I, long. That's a bit longer. That Hopefully that's a bit longer. Well, Popeye, I think Popeye outdates us. <laughs> but uh, Miss Angie, can you please introduce yourself and let the world know who you are, please? Uh, absolutely, Aaron, and thank you so much for having me on your show, um, your podcast. Um, I am Angie Wiggins. I'm the executive director of a local nonprofit called Maximum Reach for Economic Equity. Um, and uh, that is what I call my business, even though that's a nonprofit. Um, it's, it's just, it, I guess, nonprofit. If you found a nonprofit, you can kind of consider yourself an entrepreneur, although my experience has really shown me that there's kind of a different mindset um, between um, a CEO of a for-profit business and, uh, um, and an executive director of a nonprofit. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I would say that's been a bit of a stumbling block for me because I want the nonprofit to run like a business. Mm -hmm. um, and it hasn't been, it's been easier said than done with that part. Yeah. But what we do at Max Reach is we empower uh, Black businesses for success. And so we're willing to take on whatever challenges, whatever things impede uh, Black business success. Um, and uh, based on kind of our research that we did the first, you know, five years of, of building this, um, we settled on a program called Thinking Like a CEO. So that's our key program. We have a couple of other programs that help support Thinking Like a CEO. But the, the biggest thing that I saw when I got involved in this was that our entrepreneurs are overworked. Our entrepreneurs are, you know, wearing every hat. They are the, you know, chief cook and bottle washer. And they're also the marketing director. They're, you know, the janitor. They're the um, you know, they're the CEO, they're doing it all. And um, so we designed Max Reach to um, help businesses have access to the services that they need to free them up. Basically, the idea of thinking like a CEO, if we can free our entrepreneurs up to drive their businesses to success from a CEO perspective, uh, rather than from an employee perspective where they're actually rolling up their sleeves every day and doing the work because they are the visionary. And no, so no, no. Let me stop you there. Let me stop there because you said several mouthfuls, several mouthfuls. <laughs> and, 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 and I mean, I'm trying to spoon feed myself. Now, first of all, you said think like a CEO rather than an employee. Wow. Wow, because you know, there's a lot of people who they don't think as a CEO. They're too busy doing all the grunt work that 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 they don't they don't they don't understand how important that grunt work is to the success of the the, the, the company. Think like a CEO. I like that. I like that. And so and so here you are going to be in the women in business, which by the way. Yes, a nonprofit is absolutely a business. Okay, talk to Pride Industries and ask them if they are a business. Okay, they'll say yes, we are. You know, so so, you know, what 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 I'm excited is your story, how you got from corporate America to um, your own non nonprofit. Now look here. I don't want you to share it all now because, you know, people are going to come. They're going to listen to you. If we share it all now, 
what reason would they have to come? But just give us one little, one little tidbit, one little nugget of how you were able to, to find your success from corporate America to where you are today. Family, I want to invite you to the second annual Small Business Success Summit happening on Saturday, July 30th from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. with the After Five Jazz and Cheese Networking Mixer starting at 5 p.m. Now, this takes place at Florence Square, 2251 Florence Road. As you know, we are segmented Black Wall Street, and we take that very, very seriously. This event is to make you bigger, better, faster, stronger, and we have all sorts of workshops uh, uh, for that purpose. If you are in business, if you want to be in business, if you want to be better in business, more successful in, in business, then these workshops will help you. We have Father's Bonds, The Magic of Success, Dan Cassis Murray, Start Your Business Right, June Livingston uh, for BRC, Permit Process. We have Dr. Reggae Brown, Go Better, Go Higher, Business Basics, Stephen T. Webb, How to Become a Realtor, Erica Castillo, How to Obtain Small Business Grants. We have Anita Johnson, Healthy Financial Habits for Your Business. We have Taylor Pinnell, Paint Your Vision Board. Chandra Stewart, Running a Successful Lifestyle Business. We have Chris Lotson, Black Business Owners and What They Need to Know About California Reparations. And then after all that, after all that, we're going to put you all in one room and, and discuss small business. We're going to have a small business di di discussion group. And through that, we're going to have one room, one room with professionals in there waiting for you to come in with your questions and you ask them and you get your questions answered. Now, all this, plus we get lunch. We feed your mind, your body, and your soul. You get lunch. And if you have children, if you have children ages 7 to 14 and you don't know where to put your children, we don't want that to stop you. We want you to come in and bring your children to the kids in biz. We'll watch your children. As you learn about business, they will learn about business as well. Did I mention three panels? Women in business. The baddest, fiercest women are going to be talking to you about their travels in business. We have government contracting panel. We have SMUD and Department of General Services and, and other organizations telling you how to do business with them. And we have banking and finance. How to ask and get your money. All right? And that's going to be hosted by FM Bank and others. This is for you. We want to inform, inspire, and entertain. Yes, entertain you. And we have uh, uh, um, the wonderful sax saxophone player, Miss Trinity Sharp. And she's here to play for you. She'll be here at the uh, Mixer. And it's all hosted by ABC's Candace Red. So I'm taking a lot of time because I want you to attend. It's important to me, and we hope that it's important to you and the success of your business. $75 is the, the ticket, $50 if you pay before June 30th. Either way, all this plus food, that's a bargain if you get what you need. And what you need to be successful in business. Saturday, July 30th, our second annual Small Business Success Summit, and I will see you there. Okay, one little nugget about that. Um, I think the key, I don't know if I want to talk about the key or the impetus. The impetus to do, to make a move like that, I think is recognizing your value and recognizing how important it is for you to live uh, according, I, I think for you to follow your dreams mm -hmm. versus following the money. Uh, corporate, corporate money is easy. Um, you know, you, you go in and you do your job and you have all these protections and then you, uh, you just get paid for it. Um, Whereas an entrepreneur really has to create that situation for themselves. They have to create, they have to build their own payday. Um, yes. And there are a lot of moving pieces in building your own payday. So uh, 
it, it, it's daunting, I think, if you've been in the corporate mindset. I started in corporate America when I was only 18 years old, and I went all the way through to, uh, I think, the age of 50 in corporate America. So being able to make that shift in my mindset was my biggest challenge, biggest challenge. And I used to listen to Dr. Uh, Boyce Watkins. Is that his name? Mm, yes. Yeah, yes. Dr. Boyce yes. Watkins. So I used to listen to Watkins a lot. I bought into his um, the Black Business School, which I think is really awesome. And um, when he talked about being on the plantation and have and and having to liberate yourself from the plantation, having to you know just have the courage to liberate yourself from the plantation, I would listen to him, wishing, hoping, dreaming that I would have the courage to go ahead and liberate myself. Um, be, because as a corporate employee, I was always trying to impress uh, and prove myself to whoever was that supervisor or whoever was that director. I'm always trying to show that I was worthy of the promotion, that I was worthy of the uh, um, salary increase. Um, and I just got really sick of having somebody else in charge of how high I can go and what I can do, what I can achieve. Yes, yes. And I got to tell you something. You got a lot of head nods. I know you did. A lot of, mm -hmm, that's right, girl. You got a lot of that. A lot of that, girls. A lot of people know exactly where you're coming from. And so if you are one of the people who are head nodding and mm -hmm, that's right, girl, you got to come on out to the Women in Business panel. That's just one of the many workshops that we have at the second annual Small Business Success Summit held at Flower Square 2251 Flower Road on July 30th, 2022 from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Because we're going to, we, we're going to share with you a lot of those aha moments. Fantastic, gonna be fantastic. And um, we we want you to come because we chose some, some, po some powerful people. Angie Higgins, she won't tell you because she's way too modest. But she has been a, 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 a staunch fighter for, for justice in this community for well over 20 years. I mean, really, she, she really has. And um, it's going to be interesting for me, as it will be for you, to hear her story. So, Angie, you have a lot of people who do know you. You, you got a lot of fans. A lot of people go, Angie Wiggins. So... <laughs> Talk, talk to them and tell them why they should come to the second annual Small Business Success Summit. Tell them, please. Okay, I'm happy to. I think um, I think this is going to be an, a really exciting opportunity to, uh, one, as a networking opportunity, getting to know other women in business, what they're doing, um, finding partners that you can collaborate with, like you know, just, just being out there, finding out other people's great ideas, seeing how your ideas can fit together with their ideas, how you can grow those ideas together. Um, collaboration is a huge thing in our community. If we don't collaborate, I don't think we're going we're gonna to survive what's, what's coming. Um, that is, I think that would be like the primary reason. Also, um, the lineup that Aaron has created for this event, we're talking about a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge. We're talking about people who can fill in those gaps, some of the things, some of those questions. I know that for me, when I run into uh, questions on where to go next um, or how to handle a certain situation, I can come up to that, uh, that wall or that dead end and I just kind of sit there. Um, I'm immobilized because I don't know my next move or I don't have an idea of my next move. Um, the people that Aaron has assembled for this event are people who are going to be able to um, provide you some answers and advice. Um, they're going to be able to help you springboard your ideas. And I think what's equally as important, like I said before, is when you see these people who have this information, they're approachable here in this event. This is an opportunity to go in there, give them your business card, stick your hand out, say hello, and you know, let them know that you'd like to pick their brain a little bit further. So it's you know, opportunity. Um, it's opportunity that's going on. And then finally, I would say from a from the, you know, uh, Max Reach is all about uh, small black businesses, and so from the the perspective of the Black community, uh, the Black business community, um, 
this is um are are we at Florence um center yes for the, absolutely. yes absolutely so we are, Square, yes Florence Square so we're right there at the Mecca you know the Sacramento Mecca for black businesses we're right there in the in the we're we're right there I mean we're in yeah. the spot and so um you just can't go wrong. I think it's going to be a really <laughs> exciting opportunity. You can't go wrong. You've got to come out. You got to uh, oh, and don't forget about the food. He said uh, he said they're going to feed us. Now I don't know who uh, I don't know who's on on hand, but I know that I know a lot of awesome uh, you know folks down there at the uh, African yep. marketplace. Great food yep, and yep, and yep. all that. So I would well, say well, that Angie, might be another. Go ahead. It it won't be lobster. It will not be lobster. So don't <laughs> that's a don't get thing. the hopes up. Don't that's get the hopes up thing. now. Okay, okay. But 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 you know something? You said food, food for the body, but food food for the mind too. You you said something that made me think of something. We have something called get your questions answered. It's a room where there's people in that room sitting there waiting for you to come in and ask them questions. What? Oh, nice. So that means that that means that throughout the day you go. Hmm, I want more information on whatever. You sit down and you speak to the people. Um, there's gonna be people there from SCORE, the people, people from uh, Department of General Services, people there from SMUD. There'll be some business people up, up in there. So they're gonna sit there and wait for you to sit down and ask questions so you can do what? Do what? Get your questions answered. Wow. And no I, extra charge, I, I might add. I didn't know that was an option. And I think that's an awesome uh, um, opportunity. And I think what I would advise people to do is to start getting their, start jotting down their questions now. Like don't wait yeah. till you're there and you, and you just want a little more information on what somebody said, but look at how your business is operating right now. Like literally go ahead and write, like take that. a notebook out or, or get on, uh, get on your, you know, word or whatever, you know, word processor you use Google docs, but get out there and start brainstorming some of the obstacles that you have and the dreams that you yes. have for your business, the things that you want to make happen. And look at what you don't know with those things, like really like drill down and find what you don't know and write them all out. Score. Um, you said uh, Aaron said that score is going to be present. Um, yep. The people, the, uh, the mentors in SCORE are actual successful business people, people who have yes. been out in the world and applied it and um, worked their businesses to success uh, in real time, in real life. And yes. now uh, yes. many of them are retired, right? Retired from yes. what they were doing and, and donating this time and energy, but they have that enthusiasm, that excitement that drove them into business in the first place. And they're willing to, to download all of this information to you. So that is uh, pretty exciting. Other people who are in business. I love it. I love it. Um, other people who are in business, particularly black folks who are in business because their road is going to be different. You know, uh, they're running into the same obstacles, many of the same obstacles that you're running into. Um, maybe a, a non-black business might not have the same obstacles or the same nuances. And sometimes those nuances are going to be the difference. They're going to make the uh, they're they're going to tip the scales, you know. So being able to yes. understand those nuances. So when you're dealing with black business veterans um the the information they can give you is absolutely invaluable and i think one of the mistakes we make when we're talking to some of our veterans is thinking that we know so much <laughs> or wanting to show them how much we know when in actuality we should be pretty doggone quiet taking it in asking the questions and then zipping the lips um because they don't really care if you disagree or agree. They know what they've done and they're offering it to you. You can take that so and now, you can weed now. out <laughs> what works for you or not. You That's can what tell I think. She's, she's just excited. She's excited. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, but uh, yeah, uh, uh, and she, she's going, she's going, she's going. I love it. I love it, people. This is uh, you got Angie Wiggins and five other equally motivated women on that Women in Business panel. And I'm going to share with you a secret, people. It's a secret. Don't tell them. I'm going to try to convince Angie Wiggins to bring somebody from Max Reach into that Get Your Question Answered room. I don't know if it's possible. I don't know. But if so, hey, hey, 
You mm. may get some. Ooh, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. July 30th. July 30th. At Florence Square. Second annual uh, Small Business Success Summit. Go to Eventbrite. Okay. Uh, uh, um, um, and um, and um, look for second um, um, second Andrew Small Business Success Summit. Look for that, or you can go to www.fscdc. You'll see it on on the screen, okay? Uh, org, and then just click on the little uh, uh, um, flyer that says about the summit. And it'll, it'll take you right there. So either way, either through the website or through Eventbrite. Save yourself some money, though. From, 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 from June 1st to June 30th, $50. It goes up, it goes up, it goes up. to $75 after July 1st. So you don't want that. You don't want that. So, all right, guys. I'll see you there. I'm excited. Angie, excited? We want you to oh, be. Oh, I'm absolutely <laughs> excited. excited. I'm looking too. forward to it. Yes. See, I, I told you she was. I told you. And um, I'm Aaron Boyce with the great and wonderful Angie Wiggins. And um, we will see you on July 30th. Until then, I bid you and she bids you peace. Peace. All right, Eric.